Hi there. This video demonstrates how to use resource lag and resource duration to distribute work between resources who can't work simultaneously. The default method of spreading resource assignment work in P6 is linearly over the duration of an activity. However, many scenarios can occur which require the nonlinear distribution of the resource work. Resource lag and resource duration can be used to control the dates the resource work begins and ends. So let's take a look at our activity. We can see that we've got an activity called mechanical design and the original duration of the activity is 10 days. So this activity is scheduled to start on January 11th and finish on January 22nd. If we look down on the resource tab, we can see that we require a mechanical engineer to be on, on this activity for the entire 10 days of the activity. We currently have assigned John Dawkins to perform this work. His duration for his resource assignment is 10 days with no lag for total budgeted units of 80 hours and a planned start for his resource assignment of January 11th and the planned finish for January 22nd. What happens if John Dawkins can't work the entire 10 days? That's where resource duration and resource lag can work together to help you fulfill the needs for this work. Let's come down and add another resource, Paul Kim. He's also a mechanical engineer. Let's say that John Dawkins is available for the first five days of this activity's duration and Paul Kim is available for the second days. We can use original resource duration and original resource lag to identify this staggering effect. So let's go to John Dawkins and identify his original resource duration to be five days. We can see how his resource assignment changes. His budgeted units are now 40 hours and his planned start is January 11 and his planned finish is January 15. Paul Kim can work the second five days of this activity. So his original resource duration will be five days but he's going to have original resource lag of five days to denote that he's going to work the second five days of this activity. So I'll record original resource lag of five days. Scrolling across we can see how his resource assignment changes. He now is scheduled to work for 40 hours. His planned start is January 11 and his planned finish is January 22nd. So hopefully you can see how useful it would be to use resource duration and resource lag to stagger the efforts from two or more resources. It's important to remember that original duration for the resource is not the same thing as the original duration of the activity, which we can see up here on the activity table. Additionally, original resource lag is not the same thing as relationship lag. Resource lag is specific to that resource assignment. Thank you very much. Hope this is helpful.